Hi, Vittorio. Ciao, Gianmaria. Welcome to Bocconi. I shouldn't say welcome back because you're a historical member of our International Advisory Council and now member of the Board of Trustees, uh, but thanks so much for taking part to this Thank you. Chat. Thank you for having me. It's always great to be here in Bocconi. Super. So, given your impressive knowledge of digital sectors, let me start asking you, are we living a new golden age for entrepreneurship in these days? For sure, we are living an age where becoming an entrepreneur is going to be uh, much easier. Uh, digitization, softwareization is enabling everybody with an idea to do something, whether it's digital or disrupting an existing sector, doesn't matter, but you know, the opportunities are great. Is it going to be golden? Uh, for some, for sure. But also, uh, people have to remember that if it's easier to be an entrepreneur, there's going to be more competition. So there will be also failure. But yes, it's going to be an incredible age. You've been in many multinationals at the beginning of your career in investment banking and consulting, and then in later years in publishing and telco. Uh, what do you have seen in terms of broad changes across different industries? I would say multinationals have changed probably in two or three ways. Uh, for sure, now multinationals are truly multinational. They used to have many markets. Now they truly have people from all the cultures, okay. all the ethnicities, all the countries. Uh, the second is uh, there has been a recent change uh, in trying to become more entrepreneurial, allowing people to experiment and do more, less standardized things, which of course comes with digital. And the third one, which is more recent, is the reaffirmation of the importance of purpose. Uh, why is the company here? Not just to make profit, but for which reason? So these, I would say, are the three let's say last five years, big changes. So more international diversity, corporate entrepreneurship and purpose. Let's talk about purpose. Uh, so is it a fad or is it for real? Well, for somebody it might be a fad, but I would say that for most of us, it's real. It's, uh, we are living in very turbulent times. Mm -hmm. uh, companies cannot just stand for profit or for uh, shareholder value. Uh, we need to tell our customers, our employees, where we stand on the environment, on plastics, on social issues, on the communities, on people. So I think uh, it's an import it's, will be an important element uh, of uh, companies' positioning and uh, uh, way of thinking for the, for the near future. So this is great, and it's also for centennials. And it's uh, gr great for people because the young generations really care about uh, how the company interacts with the world, uh, not just on economic dimensions. So it's hard in a few seconds, but can you share with us some tips of your beautiful 12 years of leadership at Vodafone Group? I always said to all of my colleagues and uh, I also say to students, including the students here at Bocconi, that uh, the essence of leadership is not about your style. Everybody can be a leader. You can be introvert, extrovert, analytical, creative. It doesn't really matter. But the essence of leadership, in my view, is two things. One, uh, through genuine long-term orientation for the interest of the institution, the company you work for. Your people will recognize if you make decisions which are good for the long term or if you are a short-termist. And the second is a genuine care for people. I have never met a leader who doesn't really care a lot about his or her people. Everything else, to be honest, you and I are different, everybody else is different, we have strengths, we have weaknesses, that doesn't matter. The important things are long-term orientation for the interest of the institution and care for people. Beyond professional development and career, what would you suggest to our current graduates for their future? My recommendation is always when you choose the first jobs for the first five years, don't focus too much on career advancement, money, opportunities. Try to pick jobs where your learning is going to be really massive, where you can really improve the, the, the competence, the, the, the knowledge, asset value of yourself, because that is the moment where you really build uh, the person who you, you're going to be for the future. And then there's a second thing, which is very important again, given the context. Uh, uh, I encourage all these people not to focus just on business, but also try to be involved, try to take care of some social aspect around you, whatever is you know, your taste or your, or your area of interest, because uh, that's a sensitivity which is very important later in your life. And so if you do it when you're young, then it will come, become very useful uh, later on. These are real words of wisdom. So thank you very much, Vittorio. Mario, it's been a pleasure. Thank you I'll very much. I'll see you very soon on campus. Thank you. I'll see you as well. <laughs>